hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel hope everyone's doing fantastic so it's been a while since i've recorded a video actually because i just arrived back to australia a few days ago so i've been jet lagged and tired sorry if i haven't really uploaded in a while um yeah so as you've probably seen from the title too, today's video is all about ColourPop. this is my this will be my second ColourPop um video so this time around i bought different things i bought um um not just matte lipstick but also satin and gloss as well so um it arrived in a big box <laughs> all right so basically i got different packs of different set however they may call it i also got this as well apparently it was late i didn't even know because i sent i shipped it um, to australia while i was still in london so it says sorry we are late xoxo and they sent a mini um lippy and there's a cute um, thing in here it says did you know we have so much room in our in our art for you xoxo colourpop mushroom mushroom it's so cool anyway i am gonna um do the collection like each collection do the lip swatches talk about how i feel about them until we get to the end of it okay okay all right let's get started <laughs> So eating agenda, I quite like this actually. It is a, it is satin. Um, I like the way it feels on my lip. It's actually quite moisturizing. It's not matte, like obviously it's not matte because it's satin. Like it does stick together. That's it. But I just really really like it on like the matte lipstick that sometimes does feel overly drying and to wipe it up is such a struggle. But I like this. I like this set so far. So thumbs up for that. I'm actually glad I picked up some satin this time. Yeah, go me. Eh. Open eye through the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I breathe. All right, so can you not? That's it done. This is the last one. It's the glossy one. The one I did previously, which was arch, and it's the satin color. They look a bit similar. They're actually the same, the same color. Like this is Suki right here, and this is arch. I don't know if it was intended for them to be the same color, but it did the, the, literally the same to me. But anyway, I like this set anyway. Um, it is the satin and the glossy is quite moisturizing as well. The matte, yeah, it's matte, but I had to quickly take it off because I didn't want it to dry it too quickly. Um, otherwise, it would be a struggle to take off, but it feels okay as well. collection yeah. not really a big fan of it um contessa and mrs contessa i mean it's glossy i'm just not a fan of that shimmer in it like i feel like i probably won't wear it it's just gonna be there in terms of mrs yeah that color seems kind of um what is it bright for me so in terms of my cut because of my skin tone yeah i would need to probably ombre it or use a lip liner just to turn it down a bit because i'm not really a fan of it but yeah this is the last one which was what was it actually darling this is the third purple i would have <laughs> Um, in terms of the truth be told collection i like it honestly i don't really have any um what is it issues with them they all they're all satin so it's good it's good we're almost there guys almost there my lips are burning literally <laughs>
that was the last of the over brunch oh my gosh my jaw hurts my mouth hurts um i quite like i like the packaging to be honest it's quite cool and it's got a mirror in there which is great you can actually see what i'm doing it's good and they're all in there um i don't like the first two nude matte color they're just a bit too bleh for me because of my skin tone like definitely gonna ombre it and use a lip liner and one of the cream um the cream sticks literally broke it was like i mean i didn't realize it was the cream one i was just picking and just applying it and then it just broke it was quite soft the next one i tried the next cream one i um applied it really really slowly but it wasn't it didn't actually break it wasn't as soft as the other one so i think that I don't know why that one was very soft but i would say that's the only thing that's wrong in this palette the fact that it broke this is the quantity if you keep going keep going don't break that's it that's all you get in there quite cool Stop inside. K-pop done. Oh, let's just ignore that lipstick stain onto the very end. I absolutely love this collection. I quite like it. As you've probably seen, all of them are, are matte, so they are quite matte. I have to quickly like do them and just rub it off because I don't want to sit here all day trying to rub them off. Um, I must say though, um, the chi in there, yeah, that would require a lip liner as well and ombre just because yeah, it just doesn't look that i mean it looks okay but then i wouldn't really wear that out like that um so yeah that's it for this one now i've got the last one this is the last one yay my lips are dying okay so i love this color the color just it just looks great as for some i don't know there's just something about it i really like it it does remind me of avenue i think i've actually swatched this kind of color already if i'm not mistaken because i honestly can't remember but yeah that was the last of it i i'm absolutely glad i got um some satin as well as glossy this time around i mean the first time the first time i got pop color color pop color pop i think i got like maybe one glossy or so or two but um i didn't like them because they were nude and it didn't really i didn't really like the way they looked on my lip but i absolutely love love this lipstick i mean mind you the couple of them that are um that are too new that i have to mix up as i've said one thing i did forget is that this over brunch though some of it were um were matte like a matte x they were actually quite easy to wipe off it wasn't really hard like the minute i put because i used um makeup because <laughs> i used a makeup wipe so the minute i literally popped it on it just wiped off easily on like this matte ones as you can see this is actually dried now um i mean it does transfer a little bit onto my finger but it's quite dry yeah it feels really really drying on like the satin so i do like this collection i recommend this i basically recommend all of it if you're not a matte per kind of person you would prefer the satin trails that i did but yeah that's pretty much it i don't want to keep on um i don't want to blab on so i hope you've enjoyed this video because you know i enjoyed seeing out this color even though my lips are burning right now um so yeah thank you for watching this video comment down below if you've bought some of this um, some of this lipstick that I've swatched and you like them let me know which of these colors that I've swatched were your favorite as well also give this video a thumbs up I would so much appreciate that subscribe if you haven't already done so and also make sure your notification bell is turned on thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video all right bye guys <laughs> before you came around I was heading for a small